right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakal Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and who rule well in this truth. All right. Shalom to the uh, hopeful elect that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Peace and mercy to you. Now, um, I'm going to try to hurry up and do this video because I'm on lunch break right now. I only have 30 minutes. So, um. Bear with me. I might, uh, you know, speed read and, you know, stuff like that. But um, let's get into it. I got this book right here. It's called The Negro Question. And um, it's a six book series. You know, Negro Question one, two, three. This is the first one right here. I also got the uh, part four, but it's the Negro Question right here. Uh, let's get into this book. Um, it's the very first chapter, right? It's called... Uh, Black but not African, all right? Because you so-called Negroes here in America, y'all not African, man. All right? Y'all was y'all was told and taught that y'all was African because we were stolen from Africa, but that doesn't make you African, all right? Because a uh, uh, a race is a is a people before it's a place, all right? The word nation comes from the Greek word nationem, which means a uh, race of people, all right? If um 10 million Russians were stolen from China, would those make would that make those Chinese uh uh I mean those Russians Chinese, man? Nah, man, just be it just means Russians that were stolen from China, man. All right? We were stolen from Africa, but that doesn't make us African, man. All right. First off, the word African comes from the name Leo Scipio Africanus, man, which was a white, uh, uh, so-called white Roman general, man. All right. You Negroes don't descend from a white man named Leo Scipio Africanus, man. All right. So uh, that was the name. That was the name he gave the land. He named the, he named the land after himself when he conquered that land. All right. And that's also scriptural when he says that they uh. That uh that they uh named the lands after their own names, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. Let me let me search that real quick, man. All right. Um. Let's get that land after their own name. Let's see. Oh yeah, right here. Psalms forty nine and eleven. All right. It says their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Yeah, that's talking about the so-called white man because he thinks he's going to rule this planet Earth forever and ever. That's why the white man has so much pride, man. All right, because the white man has gone away with so, gotten away with so much stuff. This planet Earth, he gotten away with slaughtering uh, over 100 million Native Americans. He gotten away with slavery. He gotten away with the uh, unrighteous decrees that he has decreed in the society. All right, look at the society. Look how wicked the society is, all right? This is the so-called white man society, all right? Look how society is, man, because of the so-called white man's rulership of this planet Earth, man. He has created a wicked society, man, all right? So it says, their, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling place and their dwelling place to all generations. They call the land after their own names. So the white man always calls the land after their own names, all right? The, the name, the word African comes from Leo Scipio Africanus, man, which is a Roman general. All right. American America was named at the uh, Verigo uh, Vespucci, man. All right. Uh, uh, names of towns and uh, 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 cities and stuff like that here in America are named after the so-called white man. All right. So uh, let's let's get back into that book again, man. The Negro question. All right. Chapter one, it says black, but not African, man, because you Negroes here in America, man, y'all not Africans, man. But that's what the white man has taught you, man. OK, because he doesn't want you to know who you who you truly are, man. All right. Because we are God's chosen people. Uh, uh, you Negroes that came over here on slave ships. You're the real Jews, man. You're the true Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. All right. So you got to wake up out of that madness and, and come back to, to your na your true heritage, your true nationality. And then once you figure who, out who you are, you got to come back to the most high, man. All right. Because the most high is getting ready to destroy this place, man. He's getting ready to destroy America off the face of this earth by nuclear missiles, man. OK, so you got to come back to this, mo come back to the most high before he wipes this place off the face of this earth with nuclear missiles, man. And World War Three, man, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, man. All right. 
So uh, it says right here, chapter one, black but not African. It says, ever since the so-called Negro came into contact with the Europeans through the slave trade, there have been a number of legitimate questions concerning this Negro. Number one, which of the sons of Noah is his father? All right. Yeah, because everyone on earth comes from one of Noah's three sons, all right? Ham, Shem, and Japheth, all right? So you, everyone on earth is either a Hamite, a Shemite, or a Japhite, all right? Now, the Africans, they come from the seed of Ham, all right? Africans are Hamites. You Negroes here in America, y'all not Hamites, all right? You're Shemites, all right? That's why uh, uh, Israelites are known as uh, Semitic people, all right? Because they come from the seed of Shem, all right? But it's not really Semitic, it's Shemitic, because that's who y'all descend from, Shem, which is one of Noah's three sons, all right? Ham, Shem, and Japheth, man. The Israelites, is the Jews, they come from the seed of Shem, all right? That's where the word Semitic comes from, from the name Shem, all right? So it says, ever since the so-called Negro came into contact with the Europeans through the slave trade, there have been a number of legitimate questions concerning this Negro. Number one, which of the sons of Noah is his father? Number two, where did the Negro have his origination? Number three, is he African or Mesopotamian? Number four, who is the Negro in America? In order to understand who the Negro is, we must first begin with examining this picture found in Omari. All right. The brown skinned people in this picture are ancient Sumerians. All right. To the far right of the picture is a black African right here. Boom. All right. But these people right here, those are Sumerians, man. All right. So it says right here, uh, the brown skinned people in the picture are ancient Sumerians. OK. Then it says uh, to the far right of the picture is a black African man. OK. It says, even though the Mesopotamians and African are black, they are different people, man. Yeah, because not everyone that is so-called black men are the same people, man. Because they teach you that the uh, the so-called black man, that, that, that civilization started in Africa. That's not true, man. Ancient Babylon predates any civilization in Africa, man. All right. Civilization started at uh, what scholars call the Fertile Crescent, man. The Fertile Crescent, man. All right. Which is Mesopotamia, man. That's the cradle of civilization, man. Not Africa, man. All right. Mesopotamia predates any civilization in Africa, man. All right. The Fertile Crescent. All right. Mesopotamia, which is also Babylon. All right. Babylon, ancient Babylon and Mesopotamia is the same land, man. All right. Which today will be modern day Iraq, man. That's where civilization started, man. Okay. So it says the Mesopotamians were black people. And this is where Abraham. All right. Let me get to the second page. Um, it says this where Abraham had his origination in uh, Shinar. Abraham, the Mesopotamian, was a black man. And so were his descendants. Yeah, because the ancient biblical Israelites, man. All right. The ancient Hebrews, the sons of God, man, the ancient biblical Israelites were a so-called black people. All right. Not a pale skinned white people, man. Like they teach you like or like they show you in these movies, man. All right. Because the white man, he has whitewashed everything, man. All right. Why? Because he is the devil, man. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Literally, man. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. All right. The word devil means deceiver. All right. The white man has deceived is the biggest deceiver on the planet earth man like the scriptures say man uh they are estranged from the womb all right uh, uh they are born they go out speaking lies man all right the white man is the biggest deceiver on the planet earth man all right who has deceived this entire world through religion all right through philosophy putting lies in our science books especially our history books man all right he has deceived this entire world man all right. He's the damn devil at the bottom. Can't you see that the white man is not? the Can't, can't you see that the white man is the devil? How can you not see that the white man is the devil, man? All right. 
He has raped, robbed, and murdered this whole planet Earth, man. He has deleted history, whitewashed everything, man. All right? Polluting the ozone layer, putting chemtrails in the skies, man. Dumping millions of tons of uh, waste into the oceans, man. All right? Poison the food supply, the water supply, man. All right? Can't you not see that the white man is the damn devil, man? All right? You, you people need to wake the hell up, man. All right. But you want to love this damn devil, man. You Negroes, you Latinos, you Native Americans, man. You got to wake the hell up, man. All right. Like Romans 13, 11 says, man, it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Because you people don't know what's going on, man. You people don't know who your enemy is, who the devil is, man. You don't know who you are, man. But it's time that you got to be taught by the true prophets of the Lord, man. Because the Lord has raised people up. He has set people over us to be to te the, uh, to be taught from, man. The, uh, the truth, man. You got to be taught by the true prophets of the Most High, man. Which are in the highways and the hedges, man. All right? The street corners, man. Teaching this truth, man. The Bible, man. The uh, real truth and, and, and knowledge of the understanding of, this, of the Bible, man. Not what they teach you in these churches. These churches, man. This uh, bullshit Christianity. That fake-ass religion, man. That was created by the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, man. All right? So let's keep reading, man. It says, Abraham, the Mesopotamian, was a black man, and so were his descendants. This bus, it says, this bus you are looking at is a Sargon, is of Sargon the Great. Sargon's testimony was that he ruled over the black-headed people. In the tablets of Sumer, the people of Sumer described themselves as black-headed people. This sergeant uh, uh, is a black Mesopotamian, not Libyan, all right? And although he is black, he is not African. The next image you should be looking at is an image of Shem's son, Elam, the Elamite from the 10th chapter of Genesis and the second second verse, in the 22nd verse. It is mentioned Shem's son, Elam. These Elamites were, excuse me, these Elamites were Mesopotam from Mesopotamia and were clearly black people, but they were not the sons of Ham. Yeah, because the sons of Ham, like I said earlier, man, everyone on earth comes from, from one of Noah's three sons, man. All right. After they got off the ark, man, from the flood, man. All right. One of Noah's three sons, man. Uh, uh, Noah's three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, man. So you either a Hamite, a Shemite, or a Japhite, man. All right. And the sons of Ham, the Africans, man, they come from Ham, man. All right. They're Hamites. Africans are Hamites. You Negroes here in America, you're the true biblical uh, Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. You're Shemites, man, not Hamites. They're two totally different people, man. Two totally different bloodlines, man. All right. Uh, yeah, man. So, um, that's basically it right there, man. That's what I really have wanted to get in. Oh, yeah. It says right here. All right. Now, this is a book, right? It's, uh, it's design. It's design. It's designer van compact Bible dictionary. This is what this is. This is a Bible. It's not a Bible. This is a Bible dictionary. All right. This book was written by biblical scholars. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, biblical experts, all right. So when you go into the definition of Ham, all right, it says, which was one of Noah's three sons, all right. So let's read. It says Ham, all right. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, all right? The word progenitor means forefather, all right? So it says he became the progenitor of the dark races. He became the forefather of the dark races, all right? But right after that, it says, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. Yeah, all those are African people, all right? He's the progenitor of all those African people. But right before that, it says, all right, it says he became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. Ethiop Ethiopians, Libyans, and the Canaanites, all right? So you Negroes here in America are different from, from the Canaanites, the Ethiopians, the Egyptians, man. Y'all not the same people as those 
as those people, man. Y'all totally different people, man. All right. You people are you Negroes here in America are not Africans, man. All right. Uh, 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 the ancient Egyptians are not your forefathers. The ancient Ethiopians, the Canaanites, those are not your forefathers. Your forefathers are the ancient Israelites, man. Those are who your it uh uh your forefathers really are, man. When you read about the people in the Bible, you're reading about your ancestors, man. Your uh um uh, your uh forefathers, King David, King Solomon, Moses, man, Ezekiel. All right, those are all our forefathers, man. Okay, so um. Let's get that, man. Let's go to uh, Exodus 11 and 7. All right. All right. So it says right here, Exodus 11 and 7. All right. It says, but any, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Yeah, that's talking about the Africans, man. The Lord called them dogs, man, because that's all they are, man. Africans are nothing but dogs, man. They're scum, just like the white man, all right? Because they put us into slavery, man, all right? It was the Africans that put in the Arabs that put us into slavery, man, that sold us to the white man, all right? And the white man brought us over here on slave ships, man, because everybody had their hand in the cookie jar when it came to our slavery, man, all right? It wasn't Africans selling Africans, man, all right? Why would they sell their own people, man? They sold us because we weren't their people, man, all right? They ain't give a shit about us, man. But you Negroes here in America, you think you're Africans, man. You think you're descendants of the uh, uh, ancient uh, Africans, man, the Egyptians and all that, man. Y'all people don't know nothing, man. You don't know who you are, man, all right? So it says, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. All right. The Egyptians are African people, man. It says right here. Uh, that ye may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. All right. The Egyptians are African people, man. So the Lord saying Africans and Israel are a different people. The Lord put a difference between them, man. All right. They're not the same people, man. Let me read that again. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. All right. So there's a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites, man. All right. They're not the same people, man. The Egyptians, they're Hamedic and the Israelites are Shemetic people, man. Two differently, two different bloodlines, man. Two totally different people, man. All right. We are not the same people, man. All right. The Egyptians are not our ancestors, man. You people got to wake up, man. You don't know who the hell you are, man. All right. So uh, let me get one more thing because I'm about to uh, head back to work. Um, let me get something real quick. Uh, let me get this real quick, man. Yeah, so this is Exodus 1 and 19, man. All right. It says right here, Exodus 1 and 19, and the midwives said to Pharaoh, unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, all right? Because the Hebrew women and the Egyptian women are different uh, people, man. Those are two totally different people, man, all right? The Israelite women are not as the Egyptian women, man, all right? They were a better people, man, all right? They had better laws. They, they worshiped one God, man. The Egyptians were uh, hundreds of gods, man. All right. But none of their gods could save them when the Most High destroyed them, man. When the Most High split the Red Sea, man. He destroyed the Egyptians, man. All right. And saved our people, man. All right. So it says, and the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Yeah, man. All right. So the Israelites and the Egyptians and the Africans, all the Af not the not not all the Hamedic people are different from us. We're not the same people. The Egyptians, the uh, the Canaanites, the Ethiopians. All right. The Libyans, man. All right. They're 
all different. They're all different from us, man. All right. They're all hermetic. We're not hermetic. They, we are shemetic, man. So you people got to wake up and realize who you really are, man. All right. And I'm going to end it right there, man. So I'm going to say Shalom, Shalom. Uh, 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 all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and who rule well in this truth. All right. Shalom to the hopeful elect that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Peace and mercy to you. Shalom, Shalom.